my name is Karsten Meskes and I'm living in Tokyo since, well, I came here one year ago from Germany and for my, well, my free time, my exercises, I love to do Yosokoi dance. Yosokoi is a traditional group dance. Yosokoi is usually performed by I don't think, like, let's say between 10 and 100 people. In your Sokoi dance, you use different tools. Um, for example, one of them is the so-called nariko. Um, it's, I think, called bird clapper or something. So it was used to um, scare away birds. So it has this sound. And that's how you use it. Um, for my team, we have like our mark here and my name here. And it's just two wooden, um, clappers that you use and this is really specific and special for Yosokoi and then we have different things like the flag or um, we have lanterns as well that we use and also like more traditional Japanese umbrella that is done with uh, made out of paper and out of wood uh, stuff like that so all kind of different tools that you use while dancing as well I was in Shizuoka a couple of years ago to, for a study exchange program and there we had a festival, a university festival and we had a Yosakoi group there as well. I saw the performance and it really impressed me um, how they just managed to convey like the feeling and I ended up joining that group and uh, ended up having a really great year there in Shizuoka and well basically got hooked on Yosokoi then. From the very beginning I knew that I was coming to Tokyo so I looked up the different groups around here and ended up with the one called Sun. Why did I end up with them? Because I thought like they have the best dance and it's the coolest and that's what I want to do. So that's really simple. And the specialty about my team, my, my group right now, Sun, is that it's not the traditional Yosakoi, if you can call it like We are basically um, performing for a much, I think, younger audience than the average. And we also do have hip hop dancing in there as well. So we have uh, different styles. We have locking in there, we have walking in there. But we do have different kind of um, modern street dancing style in there as well which of course makes it much more difficult to uh, perform to a good or high level because you actually ha have to do the dancing you don't have to only do the traditional um, yosakoi slow moves that were invented for old women old men in the i don't know 30s 35 38 40th um, that is actually easier to do so that's why I also wanted to join this group because it's more challenging and um, well good for me to um, well get better in dancing I guess. It's not about how good you are usually, it's more about how good you do together in a group and how good can you synchronize your moves with all the other moves. and. How do you work with the song? How do you work with your tools? How do you work with those Audi guys? That's what it's called, like people doing the, the songs. So there's usually people, well, singing. It's not usually singing. It's more like, I don't want to say cheerleading, but the people just landing your song and your um, performance, the voice. Um, so it's called kakigoe in Japanese. So it's basically screaming. It's not just through the dance that you show that you're energetic. It's not just through um, the song 
that you show and convey a mood, it's also through those people helping you out. So for us, we are a group, we are a team that wants to win prizes, that wants to win. So we usually train quite a lot. We usually do train two, well, three to four times a week. So in the weekend, we usually do like four to five hours training. On, uh, on the weekdays, we usually train in studios. So the special dance studios, you need to rent them. And so you basically have your schedule up and then you rent the place where you want to train. We also do um, so-called jishiren. Well, that's basically practice, um, but not with a whole group. So if you have, if you just want to get better, you practice um, the, your dance moves or you practice with some part of the group, someone who has free time basically. You meet up on a day on a day and then meet up, get a get a hall or a place where you can train. Or in my case, because I'm sometimes using a flag, go outside and train for like two or three hours and then that's it for that evening as well. Lately it's been a normal practice for us to start with doing isolations, like just individual movements of your body parts, like the head to the right, or like typical dance, dance stuff, dance moves that you do. And then we do a workout with everyone. So like that's stretching, muscle training, push-ups and abs and back. And then we go into our choreography, which is basically working towards the next festival. We need everyone needs to know the place where they stay so you need to have um, already a well not a map or a picture divided with everyone uh, for every part of the song where they are where you move um, when the other th scene comes what you do then and stuff like this so we start to um, do that and get everyone accustomed to the next festival and where you are staying and if you're in the front, if you're in the back and stuff like this. We have different kinds of performance. So there's the so-called nagashi and the stage, so the parade performance and the stage performance. And normally on festivals you have both. So the parade performance is usually around, it's usually around 100 meters or something and you move from one end of the street to the other end of the street. Of course you have to remember your positioning for both of them and um, the parade is actually, well consider my group and whatever we do, it's pretty hard for us because it's really tiring to go for not only 100 but sometimes parades also have two, three, up to five parades, one after another. So you can imagine if you do five parades after another, that's five times, five minutes, 100% dancing your song, and then um, going forward for 500 meters while dancing. And on the point of uh, judging, like judging the performances and um, choosing a winner, there's not always performance that are judged. So sometimes, mostly, there is uh, a competition, but not always. And usually the competition is only on one stage or on one parade. So if it's like the last time we had three times parade, one after another, with a small break in between, and the second one, we were at the place where the judge cabin was and where people were looking and then judging every group. And that was the second performance. So out of those three, and then the other time we were on a stage and it was judged on our stage performance there. So it usually depends on what the festival is doing and how you fit in there. Yosoko is done by every age, so small children and old people as well. So it does not matter if you are really good, if you do dancing for 10 years already. You can do it whoever you are. If you're old, if you're small, if you are weak, you can do it. It doesn't matter. Um, just find the appropriate team. I think for Yosoko, you need motivation, you need to be energetic about it. 
um, you don't need to be the best dancer in the world. You just need to find, have, find fun in whatever you do, um, connect with the people and talk Japanese.